Looking for the perfect LGA 1700 motherboard for your next Intel build? Stick around as we count down five top options, ranked from weakest to best, so you don't waste your money. Kicking things off at the bottom of our list is the ASRock B760 Pro RS with DDR4 support. If you're on a tight budget but still want modern features like PCIe Gen 5 for GPUs and support for Intel's 12th to 14th Gen chips, this board might catch your eye. It comes with three M.2 slots, all PCIe Gen 4 and four SATA ports, so you're getting decent storage options. The 2.5 gigabit Ethernet is solid and the optional Wi-Fi 6E gives you wireless flexibility if you need it. The layout is practical and it's got just enough onboard tools for basic builds. But make no mistake, this board is built to a price. The VRMs are basic and it only supports DDR4 memory and the audio is about as entry level as it gets. No PCIe 5.0 for storage either, just for the graphics card. If you're planning to overclock or push high-end CPUs, look elsewhere. This one's best for budget-conscious builders doing light gaming or office tasks, where stability matters more than speed. And hey, if you're interested, we've dropped the best deals on all the boards featured today in the description below. Coming in at number 4 is the B760M DS3H AX from Gigabyte a small board with a bit more modern flavor. Compared to the ASRock, this one steps things up with DDR5 memory support and onboard Wi-Fi 6E right out of the box. You're looking at a compact micro ATX layout with dual PCIe 4.0 M.2 slots, 2.5 gigabit LAN and convenient USB-C Gen 2 ports. The DDR5 support gives it a nice future-proof edge and it's great for compact builds where space is limited. The downsides, no PCIe 5.0 here, not for GPU or storage. The VRM is a little underwhelming and the audio still uses a basic codec, so don't expect anything premium. Plus, you're working with fewer expansion slots due to the smaller size. That said, if you want DDR5 and solid connectivity in a compact format, this one's a great entry-level option for gamers or students. If you're enjoying this breakdown so far, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more no-nonsense gear reviews. In the middle of our pack is the tough gaming board from ASUS. This one offers a rock-solid balance between performance and price. With a beefy 16 plus 1 VRM, DDR5 support and PCIe 5.0 for your GPU, it's ready to take on powerful CPUs and gaming loads. You get four M.2 slots for fast storage, a robust cooling setup, and military-grade components built for long-term durability. It also features a front USB-C header with 30-watt fast charging, which is a rare and welcome touch. However, it doesn't support PCIe 5.0 storage, and Wi-Fi tops out at 6E, not 7. There's also no built-in debug LED or high-end RGB flare if you're into aesthetics. Still, it's extremely well-rounded and rock-stable for long sessions. If you're looking to build a high-performance rig without diving too deep into enthusiast territory, this one's for you. Runner-up, but tied in score for best, is the Aeris Pro X from Gigabyte. This is where things start getting seriously premium. You've got full PCIe Gen 5, not just for your GPU, but also for one of the M.2 slots, which is a big step up. Five total M.2 slots, a gorgeous white aesthetic, support for Wi-Fi 7, and an impressive VRM design make this board feel high-end from every angle. You also get robust audio, RGB fusion lighting, and quality of life touches like BIOS flashback. Downsides, it's pricey, and some users have mentioned tweaking the BIOS for optimal power limits. But once it's dialed in, it's incredibly stable and fast, like a performance luxury car. This is a motherboard for creators, power users, or gamers who want the best performance with some serious flair. Tied for the top spot is the MSI Pro Z790A Max. This board hits that sweet spot between premium power and smart value. 
with its 16 plus 1 plus 1 VRM using 80 amp stages and support for DDR5 up to 7800 plus, it's built for serious overclocking. You get four Gen 4 M.2 slots, a steel reinforced PCIe 5.0 GPU slot, an excellent rear and front USB support. The Wi-Fi 7 and Bluetooth 5.4 combo gives you blazing fast wireless too. There's no Gen 5 M.2 and the audio is decent but not mind-blowing. Still, the board is clean, functional and built to perform without showing off too much. If you want enthusiast performance without RGB overload, the MSI Max is your top tier workhorse. All five of these boards have their own strengths, but only you know which one fits your build and budget. You'll find links to the best prices for all the products featured today right in the description below. And if you like this review, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more deep dive tech guides.